I'm from the United States. I'm from London. I'm from Italy. Again, again. I'm a producer. I'm a screenwriter. I'm a cinematographer. I'm a director. Take two. Take two. I'm a director. What I do here? I'm a producer. The Rutger Hauer Film Factory. <laughs> I feel very good, I feel excited. We're all here to make films. At the end of the, the day, we're going to have something ready. Let's better get prepared. We don't want to be late. We want to go and play and start the masterclass. These people have a little more, more of a career behind them, or a life, let's say. There's a, a wild variety, and I'm really curious to see how that's going to, you know, what the battle is that they're going to have. So uh, I expect more to come. <laughs> we sort of slide it into the day. This is a very long day. It's like uh, it start, you know, it starts at what seven something, and then they'll go until eleven tonight. So, and in in that time they have to develop a story and a script and I hope that I can get them far enough to just remember what it was that they were given and then, then you know, then still feel free to do, to work with it. Uh, I think uh, talent is a gift. Uh, that you probably have, and I hope so. Um, everybody works from sense, and it watches everything, and it senses everything, and your talent is pure. Don't let anything fuck you up, please. Tap into it if you can, and then see what happens. Let it take you. It's only 10 days, it's not gonna kill you, I swear. <laughs> So I'm saying to them, let go. If you don't have it, you'll find it by letting go. Uh, and if you don't find it anyway, it's a wonderful exercise to not find anything. I am sorry, but that's part of our plan. <laughs> don't be too tough with yourself. Easy, just swing into it and rock and roll. Ideas, they keep flashing, and everyone's head is ticking, so we'll see what comes out. Hello. Hi, Nicole. That's an idea, actually. That's an idea, you know. This was a challenge as well. We will put you in a, in a place you don't know, but a lot of people you don't know, and you're going to have to get on with these people. Uh, that's not easy. <laughs> Let's go kick ass. Like first read. Yeah. Let's read it. Let's read it. Yeah. I think this is a very valuable uh, whatever session. Boy, this is Yeah, it's nice. This is really comfy. <laughs> yeah, I know. John Putch. You know, he's a he's a good man. He's still the heart of my, my factory. He's giving filmmakers a recipe, basically, how to make a cheap movie now. And he says you have to make films with friends because otherwise you're not going to make them. Or if you want to wait until you get friends, it's not going to work. <laughs> okay, let's go. Go anywhere. Go where you want. Can I just pause one moment? We bring the actors in, we meet them, we talk about it a little, we read it. And you've got maybe two, three times through it max. But don't make it become a rehearsal. We're taking them, most of the teams, through a casting session at the same time, 
we're shooting some of it so we can we can see we can see the actors and how they're working and their behavior. First, you want to see how he's going to react. Then exactly yeah. what he go ahead. Uh, so if he's really ready to forget your your relationship and start a new one. So it's nice to let the actors in before you send them out into that funny jungle that they love so much, that you tell them what you want, what you're looking for, let's say what you're trying to find out. What we're gonna do now is, is um, Ronald's gonna stay and you have another actress coming in to read yes. for the same part. So, okay. and that'll be Sarita. What? <laughs> I... Uh... Don't fuck with me here. Just don't do it. I think the director is afraid of her, of this, the, the third girl we gave him. I think the director is afraid of her. I'm stuck in the suspenders title, my fucking bed, while I'm working night by night, working and working and working and working. Oh, and working. Here, we yes, here we go. I'm the one who has to eat my dinner with some guy's cock sticking in my face. All right. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's enough. Okay, Manuel, you saw a read. You're in trouble, man. You're in deep shit. You need to work with them so they can go to where you want. I'm not quite seeing it. I don't quite see that. So I have to feel the feeling that you need to open up. That's all I'm saying. Open up what's coming to you rather than opening up what you have in your mind. I wanted just to improvise, basically, because uh, the script isn't finished. Mm, there are a lot of other things that I'm not happy about the script, as a, and so I cannot explain the actors what it is about and feel, uh, answer all their questions. I just got the last draft uh, this morning, so right. uh, we're still working on, on it. That's it's not that's why I didn't start with reading uh, the whole script or one specific scene of the script because it was not like finished. Yeah, but and, that's uh, yeah. I'm. I'm in a casting session and I'm reading material that's not even going to be shot sometimes because it's being <clears throat> rewritten upstairs by a bunch of writers. So Please. you need, no, your group, you need to get, wake up to the fact that we gave you something difficult because it's not that easy to work it into the story. So it's not just like, uh, you have to do this right. So wake up to that and listen to them. Open up, let them feed you. So you as actors, and that's your target, you need to try and give the director what he's looking for. It's his movie. Be generous. You have to tell him you can do it. Don't give me your dick right away. Find a way to put your dick in there. Let's put it, you know. <laughs> and, and, you know, that's, no, but I, you know, that's, 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 that goes for women. You know that goes for women. And, and I think, you know, you cannot hide. You just can't play. And play, you know, play is what we do, really. And it's great. It's really great. It's fun. Okay. okay. It's a gift from the sky, seeing Rutger Hauer talking about what you're doing on the set. It's very interesting. Finally, I learned something in, in all days I've been here. This is what I was looking for at the beginning. Today, it's a day of Molly Steingard, and she's an editor, uh, sort of, who worked a lot with Lars von Trier. And um, she is, like, such a good coach when it comes down to finding out what the script is about, they've, when the story is about. Okay, yeah. <laughs> the key idea is to uh, start the process of uh, thinking about the project as a film and not as something written. Hello. Hey, Martin. They were asked to find photos, paintings, music, things like that, to represent some thoughts they had about the film, not to show how it should be done, but to, to, to uh, kind of get into this layer of mood and tone and stuff like that. I think that some teams prepared better than others. <laughs> On the basis of knowing us and seeing your examples, I wouldn't have shown anything even if I'd prepared some. And why is that? Because I think uh, you brought a lot of elements and uh, I was more, as in anything I do, concerned with emotions and uh, trying to convey them. 
that's my goal, basically, for the story to convey some sort of uh, emotion. We're going to talk about um, the script. We had to send it in uh, about a week and a half ago, so it's a very rough first draft, and we didn't know who was going to be directing or DOP. Now we all know each other a little bit, and this is to get some help with moving it on and getting it ready to shoot, I guess, on the weekend. So it's a little bit scary. I sent them notes before we came over um, so on the script, and so we've discussed it a little bit, but I've sort of left them their own devices, and we can discuss it here. So. The idea is to both gather inspiration and secondly make you as a team on common ground on the same level of okay this is the story we are doing and we are heading in this direction it's not the way i normally work because i normally write what i make but what was good about this week was that you come here with certain ideas and you just have to let them go you know let go whatever just let it evolve I'm hoping they they find, let's say, the, the core of their story because it's like one day away before they start, you know, I think, start shooting. What I think that maybe would be useful for editing could be a medium shot or a close-up on him just here looking and moving. And he looks around his shoulder and it's going to slow the pace. I would... Uh, put the camera like in uh, some position where I see like okay. uh, from the point of view of the guys so, uh, and then the, 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 yeah. the other uh, okay the so I need another shot we sat around all together and uh, we sort of said I want this and you know we everyone said what they wanted so we took it into account and it's not easy at all for people you know, very sort of into themselves especially for a director who's very egomaniac and you know controlling everything and when I do your own stuff, it's very difficult. It's not easy at all. The story is just five people are trying to get one story. You know how it is? It's, it's hard. No, 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 that guy shouldn't be there. Oh, no, she should be there. Yeah, 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 yeah I like it. <laughs> but the problem with that is um, if, if, We've only you, two actors. if you shut it, We've got the shape of the story, an idea. We've all discussed it together and collaborated on it, so it's been really cool. Everybody's put in ideas, and it's going to be fantastic. <laughs> because of, we're sort of feeding off these photographs from your suggestion of you know the backs of the back of a person, the legs of someone that you don't see. I like see that too, and I'm not sure how they like it, but I already told the actor make sure that once you're way you do that. So. Yeah. Yeah. And then it'll be in there. Yeah. Yeah. She likes it. Oh, but you don't know our director yet. <laughs> she doesn't like it, won't I'm get in there. <laughs> we'll so, put it all in. And yeah, then, yeah, you know, yeah. hey, what happens on the shoot? Director's gone. <laughs> One of the things that the filmmakers want, and especially with something so short and they have to develop a story, they want to see the location where this is going to take place and where they're going to shoot it. And they want to go there to get some inspiration out of that. Look at this. It's, it's wonderful. It's, it's, it's... Sometimes you, 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 you get caught up in thoughts and, and only talking and, and you know, it's better to listen and to to look you know it's a real yeah weet je ongeveer hoe dat eruit moet zien ja Like one other location for some 
large shots because as soon as you go wide, you see the other buildings. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so is, it, is it a problem? I don't think so. Why is it a problem? Uh, you can see. I'm, I'm afraid you'll see that in the editing, Carol. Yes, I'm, I'm that listening. probably the, the buildings there will be a problem. My, my, my no. initial reaction is, wow, great, no, look at so. the, the beautiful modern building. Yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't think there's any problem. In, 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 you know, they are... Yeah, it's not, I don't think it's a problem. No. And we don't need any dressing here, I don't right. think. You know. Thank you. So, um, if we have a story, meaning content, if we have content, we can shoot a movie anywhere. You just have to work with the limitations and make it your challenge to make it work where you are. That's it. Nobody said anything about cameras. We had um, Anton Corbijn uh, was our star of the day. And uh, he's a friend of mine. We see each other every, you know, uh, three years for 10 minutes, and, and we we we'll just adore each other. Anton Corbin, the man. I'm really, really, really excited. Well, I would say he's probably the most influential music video director next to Michel Gondry and people like Jonathan Glazer or Chris Cunningham. I'm on a big learning curve and it's very, very exciting. Very exciting. Yeah. Going in now. A warm welcome to Anton Corbin. His language, his, his, his language in, in, in videos and his language from his mouth is like a code for something. What, what I thought was most amazing is that he makes, he makes music out of film. That's, I can't say it any other way. Music was the basis of everything for me. Um, it was the reason why I ever picked up a camera and consequently it was the reason why I ever made a kind of film that went with music, so there was always a basis. So it wasn't just an idea um, for a story and make a film about it. It was music that brought an idea, and then I made a film about it. And I know he inspires, you know, many people. Uh, yeah. That's all I need, you know. Yeah. Yeah. The big button looks red. And we have a secret for you. There's a big misunderstanding between actors and directors most of the time. Directors don't know what actors do, basically. Probably hate them. Actors don't know what a director really needs to know. But what they give might be more interesting and even better. Yeah. But it's, it's sort of a strange, you know, marriage. As a director, you have to let them go there. And then if they... As they find it, you pull them back in because you see what you're going to get now from them. They're the horses. They're the horsepower of your performance, basically. So you let them go and then pull, slowly pull the reins in a little bit because they're going to go crazy if you let them go all the way. So we're going to start, um, we're going to start with page two from Ellen, from what you say. Yeah. So um, I would just like for you just to read through it, first of all but for you to read the narrative parts, because there's actually no written part for Max in this scene, and there's very little written parts for Max at all. So if we can just read through it, okay? And I'm gonna give you some direction, but not on the mic. Oh. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> no. I, I wasn't really sure what to do, the part of my script, because there's literally no dialogue, you know? There's just like a few lines, so I didn't really know. So uh, I knew that I wanted to get them to improvise a little bit, um, but also to play with expectation. And so I directed one of the, uh, the, the guy playing Max to surprise her. I'm not coming here anymore. A fog of breath in the cold, and Max is there. I look on him full of dashed hope. He's very still. Something about his movements. Heavy, very slow, different from Ellen's. Max's face, 
anger, only just a hint. He shakes his head, no, a gleam in his eye. Ellen keeps her eyes down, not looking at him. He has a light with her. I saw, I saw that we were actually doing it and uh, what I had f hoped for. And we were all sitting there and the concentration was like 10,000 volts or something. It's almost like somebody pulls a, you know, uh, touches a string and it vibrates. It's better. No. Your first instinct here said, why were you kissing him? Yeah. And you fucking loved it. Yeah, and yeah, in I your know, side, I you, did, you went, maybe that's the story. <laughs> oh, no, I can't do that. We didn't know what we were doing. That's where you find the true pearls. You just found one. Mm -hmm. Take it home. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks. Okay, simple, no sound. Just three dialogue lines. That's all right. That's all we've got. <laughs> no, no, hold really? On. Hold no, wait. On. Oh, yes. No! Oh, no! You can't do that. The obstacles are to throw them a curveball so they, they have to become creative and flexible. That's the idea. Okay, let's go. Hey, Rodrigo, amigo. Uh, Rutger has a big surprise for all of us. And I just tell you that one of the group has not been allowed to use sound. <laughs> so we're not getting our sound guy? No. no. Is that right? Need it. No. Okay, well, then can I say it? he's a really, really good sound guy, so some other team that needs good sound. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, yeah, 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 that's a good oh. one. Give him all his <laughs> job. That is <laughs> all gonna get us good, now. man. Do we want to? <clears throat> we want to? We just want to curve them a little bit. We want them to be brave and not afraid. Uh, don't be afraid of the camera. It's your tool. It's your toy. Don't be afraid of, you know, any anything. <laughs> Did you understand that? <laughs> yeah, you can sit down. I know. <laughs> oh, that's going wrong. Well, that's fun. It's you have to swallow, of course. You know, to go. Up. Oh my God, that's fun. <laughs> <laughs> we already have our hands full, right? Difficulties, but yeah, I think he, he thinks he, we have it easy. I told you, he told me, you have it too easy. You have it too easy. All right, go, go to hell. <laughs> but, but make sure you come back, okay? They can do it. I know they can do it. I give them their energy. Uh, now, I know that sounds weird, but they're blocked in their energy because they're sort of drifted away from it. And there's sort of not enough confidence to really trust the 
trust the energy that comes from working, let's say, organically and instinctively. Ah, uh, my favorite director, come on down. Yes. Oh, taking some. <laughs> Thank lovely. Thank you. Don't get too serious. Yeah. Fuck him around. Yeah. See you later. Okay. It's about finding confidence in yourself and faith. And um, to see how you work within a group, how you interact. I think it's a life changing experience, well, for me anyway. Stay <coughs> fine, stay two. Oops, sorry. Silence. Shh. Rolling. And action. What you learn, what I learned here in this uh, environment is work in a changeable situation because then you see uh, how to, you know, direct the crew and make uh, the, the crew follow you in this adventure. Don't. Sir? Don't come here, please. Sir? Don't. 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 Cut. It's fun. And that's what we're here for. Are we happy? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey guys, it's a wrap! It's a wrap! It's a wrap! Yay! Screenwriter? Um, um, the easiest way of introducing main character is through work. Just because he wants to have it. And then she says, I dream about you. And he says, I dream about you. No, you don't have to. I have a feeling they are stunned by the events of yesterday. It's going fine. Now go edit. That's the final phase, you know. Go work it out. You've shot too much material. Now decide what is really strong and what is exciting. Then it's double, it's good. Like, and then it's, there's a double noise. One too much. Well, so it's one too many of that. Should we have to do something about the hit? So, what's your opinion on it? Um. I've got a little bit, or actually pretty much, the problem that I uh, had in the in the beginning when you were editing it. Um, the end doesn't come as a surprise to me. I know from the first frame already that yeah, it's gonna yeah. be yeah, it's exactly. gonna be a, a bad bad trip for her. There, yeah. There's no climate because the climate is your first oh, yeah, shot yeah, yeah, already. Because like yeah, another thing is that she's not trying the door handles enough. You don't have that at all in it. No, no time, no space. And um, yeah, well. It's, it is possible because then you get a feeling that she's trying every door. Trying Keep out. I'll be hovering and sniffing uh, on my own, sort of going from set to set. I'm sure that if we had more time for them to edit, they they would have you know come up with a you know more finesse and f uh, finer differences. But then again, you know we don't have that time, so end of story. Oh, I was just thinking maybe uh, we should do a paint job in the in the hallway. Again? Well, I'm just a bit fed up with. It's a color. What color would you prefer? We had one group that, for some reason, and it's really hard to pin it down, but you, I immediately, I mean, the first second, I, I felt that they were out of whack and they were just in trouble. And then the script that they had was very thin. So, you know, I felt sorry for them. But then again, you know, this is how we learn. And uh, if you analyze the film and you analyze what they went through, you know, there are lots of lessons in there.
it's so it's such a mess this piece uh, and I don't mean it in a bad way I just feel there's so many different elements here that don't quite do it I wish you would have found more story and more heart to photograph yeah I, yeah what, what are you gonna do what are you gonna do I hope you don't feel too bad about it because it's still to me it's like still a seven. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. See you later. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, one more to go, I think. Ah, because I get my brain back. I have one more to go. Where do I go? Hello. I like the movie already without even having seen it, so. Oh, I? Yeah. <laughs> You don't? That's a smart I don't. like it, but I'm, I'm reflecting on uh, how I directed on the first day. Um, I, I did, it wasn't a good day the first day. For me, there has to be a, a, a reason for doing something, for doing things. And if I don't understand the reason or the structure that I'm going to use that day, but it's. Who's going to decide the reason that you have a reason? This decides if there's a reason. This does too. Yeah. Okay, well, fine, be, be that way. Anyway, right. Yeah. success of what we did in the 10 days is what they take home and I think you would have to ask them rather than ask me because what I think I give them is may not necessarily be what it is but I know they all walked away with you know something very deep felt <laughs> I'm really gonna miss it I'm gonna miss this thing you don't get those opportunities very much in your life you don't get spoiled like that your head changes and you can go back with a different perspective. You, you gain confidence in yourself. I'm really going to miss the energy, the atmosphere, the working constantly on film 24 hours a day, even when you sleep. It's just a totally new game. It's the game, you know? It was what I was looking for. For 10 days, we've sort of created a family. The stream of energy that it gave us was so uh, shocking and, and uh, wonderful uh, that it makes a lot of sense to sort of end it that way. And I, I thought it was just wonderful.